properties of integers by teacher Mel. We have different properties of integers, but the first one is the property of 1. There's a place in your heart. When an integer is multiplied by 1, the product is equal to that integer. For example, 5 times 1 or 1 times 5 is equal to 5. When 1 is multiplied to an integer, the product is also equal to that integer. For example, 1 times negative 5 or negative 5 times 1 is equal to negative 5. When an integer is divided by 1, the quotient is equal to that integer. For example, 5 divided by 1 is equal to 5 or negative 5 divided by 1 is equal to negative 5. In general, if a is any integer, then a times 1 is equal to 1 times a, which is equal to a. And a divided by 1 is also equal to a. Okay, let's have an example. Quantity 1 times 4 times negative 3 okay so when you multiply 1 times 4 you will get 4 and then multiply it by negative 3 where 4 times 3 is 12 but positive times negative is negative so you will get negative 12 another example if you multiply 6 by negative 2 okay and then multiply it by 1 so first multiply 6 times negative 2 then you will get negative 12 and then followed by 1 so negative 12 times 1 still negative 12 now let's move on to the second property of integer which is the property of 0 when an integer is added to 0 the sum is equal to that integer. When 0 is added to an integer, the sum is also equal to that integer. For example, 5 plus 0 is equal to 0 plus 5, which is equal to 5. And negative 5 plus 0 is equal to 0 plus negative 5 which is equal to negative 5 when an integer is multiplied by 0 the product is equal to 0 when 0 is multiplied to an integer the product is also equal to 0 for example 5 times 0 is equal to 0 times 5 which is equal to 0 and negative 5 times 0 is equal to 0 times negative 5 and the answer is 0 when 0 is divided by any integer except 0 the quotient is equal to 0 for example 0 divided by 5 is equal to 0 and 0 divided by negative 5 is also equal to 0 so in general if a is any integer then a plus 0 or 0 plus a is equal to a and a times 0 
is equal to 0 times a, which is equal to 0. And lastly, 0 divided by a is equal to 0, where a is not equal to 0. For example, if you have negative 7 times 3 plus 0, so first you have to multiply negative 7 times 3, and the answer is negative 21. Added to 0, the answer is still negative 21. Another example, if you have 4 times negative 10 plus 0, so the first thing you do is multiply 4 and negative 10, which will give you negative 40 plus 0, and the answer is still negative 40. Now let's move on to the third property of integers, which is the commutative property. To find the sum of two integers, a and b, we write either a plus b or b plus a. For example, 4 plus negative 3 is equal to negative 3 plus 4. And the answer is 1. To find the product of two integers, a and b, we write either a times b or b times a. For example, 4 times negative 3 is equal to negative 3 times 4, which is equal to negative 12. In general, if a and b are integers, then the commutative property of addition is a plus b is equal to b plus a, while the commutative property of multiplication is a times b is equal to b times a. And the fourth property of integer is the associative property. To find the sum of three integers, we can either add the first two numbers first or the last two numbers first. For example, 4 plus negative 3 plus 2 is equal to, so you can add first 4 plus negative 3 and then later on you add 2. Or you can do 4 plus and then add the first two last numbers which is negative 3 plus 2 and the answer will give you 3. To find the product of 3 integers, we can either multiply the first two numbers first or the last two numbers first. For example, 4 times negative 3 times 2. Okay, so the first thing you do is you multiply the first two numbers, 4 and negative 3. And then later on you multiply it by 2. So when you multiply 4 times negative 3, you will get negative 12. And then negative 12 times 2 is negative 24. Or you can do the, uh, you can multiply the, the last two numbers, which is negative 3 and 2. So you, when you multiply negative 3 times 2, you will get negative 6 then multiply it by 4, you will also get negative 24. So, in general, if A, B, and C are integers, then the associative property of addition is quantity A plus B plus C is equal to A plus quantity B plus C while the associative property of multiplication is quantity A times B times C is equal to A times quantity B times C. And the last property of integers is the distributive property. The distributive property requires both addition and multiplication operations. For example, 
5 times quantity A plus 3 is equal to quantity 5 times 8 plus quantity 5 times 3 and negative 4 times quantity 2 plus 7 is equal to quantity negative 4 times 2 plus quantity negative 4 times 7 so in general if a b and c are integers then a times quantity b plus c is equal to quantity a times b plus quantity a times c on the other hand quantity b plus c times a is equal to quantity b times a plus quantity c times a